ARC haul for y'all. I got sent, how that rhymed? <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with an ARC haul for you guys. I got a total of eight ARCs that showed up on my doorstep from Simon & Schuster Canada. So thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me these. I'm super excited about them. So I thought I would share them with you. So without further ado, let us get started. I honestly don't know that much about these books because they kind of just showed up on my doorstep and I was like, okay, cool. So I'm going to give vague-ish synopsises. I'll try my best, but personally I like going into things blind, so I don't do a lot of research. That may make me a bad booktuber, but sorry. The first book that I got in the package is the one that I'm actually really excited about. I am so close to being done the Mortal Instruments series. I already finished the Infernal Devices and then I have to read The Dark Artifice, but the first book that showed up in the package was The Ghosts of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare and others. This is the companion novel to all of the series that I mentioned previously in The Shadow Hunter chronicles we'll call them. I just have to finish The Dark Artifices and then I can pick this up because people said you can't read this until you finish like everything because it spoils so I'm super excited about it. This comes out in June so by the time you see this video it's probably out. Honestly by the time you see this video probably every single book I'm talking about has already been released but here we are. The next book that I have is called The Need by Helen Phillips. This is a thriller, which we know. Your girl loves herself some thrillers, so I'm super excited about this, but it's basically about a woman who confronts an intruder in her home. She has two children with her. It's basically that story and her like questioning motherhood and stuff like that. It basically says that she slips into an existential crisis when she starts confronting this masked intruder. I'll probably be able to get through it pretty quickly, but this one is to be released July 9th, 2019. The next one is probably the one that I'm like the least excited for, but it's The Helpline by Catherine Colette. This is to be released July 23rd, 2019. This follows a woman named Jermaine who is part of an insurance company. She ends up being let go from her job and she doesn't think that she'll ever find another job because she's very socially awkward. She ends up finding a job at City Hall to answer the senior citizen helpline. She gets involved in a secret project with the mayor of the city who wants to shut down a senior center that has a lot of rebellious seniors that are across from the golf club that he attends. So she sets off to help the mayor and a very handsome man named Don, but then ends up siding with the senior citizens because they're like a ragtag bunch of people. And it's basically the story of her like realizing that she miscalculated shutting this place down and yada yada. This is probably the one I'm least excited for, like I said, because the other ones that I have sound way better in my opinion opinion, but then again, I'm more of a stabby stabby murder murder kind of person, and I doubt that there's ever going to be any stabby stabby murder murder in this one, so... The next book that I have I'm actually pretty excited about because it has one of my favorite tropes, fake dating, in it. So it is Love at First Like by Hannah Orenstein and this follows Eliza who co-owns a jewelry shop with her sister Sophie. She is scrolling through Instagram when she sees that her ex is actually getting married. So she ends up taking a picture with a ring on her finger and accidentally uploads it to her own Instagram which has over 10,000 followers. So her followers are very excited about this new development for her so she needs to decide whether or not she's going to keep the charade going or come clean. She decides that she is going to keep the charade going so she sets out to find a fake boyfriend fiance. She meets a boy named Blake who agrees to go along with her on this little adventure and they end up falling in love obviously. So we love a fake date trope. I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be like a really fun beachy read and this one is also released August 2019. The next one is probably one of the ones that I'm the most excited about. It's a thriller, obviously. It's called The Arrangement by Robin Harding and this follows a girl named Nat who decides that she needs to make a little bit of extra money so she goes and gets a sugar daddy. She meets a man named Gabe. They enter this relationship of sugar baby sugar daddy. Nat ends up falling in love with Gabe. He has a family of his own, does not plan on leaving them anytime soon, so he ends this arrangement. And that's when 
she becomes a little bit obsessive, even going as far as stalking him and becoming friends with his teenage daughter, who is around the same age as Nat. And that's when a body is found very close to Gabe's apartment, and things get a little bit interesting from there. So, we love a stabby stabby murder murder book. I love stalker stories, also sounds really creepy, but... I'm a big fan, so I'm very, very excited about this one. This one is also August 20th, 2019. The next one, another thriller. I really like this author, so I'm very excited when it showed up on my doorstep, but it is Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. This is also supposed to be released August 6, 2019. This book follows a woman named Rowan who is looking for a job. She stumbles across an ad for a live-in nanny position, and she figures, hmm, we're gonna give it a try. She doesn't expect much from this job, but she is very pleasantly surprised when she arrives at her new post. She doesn't expect it to turn into a nightmare when the child ends up dead and she is put on trial for murder and is basically the story of her trying to clear her name on this child's murder. I'm a fan of Ruth Ware, so I'm very excited to see where this book goes, but we love thrillers, we love murder. We're here for it. The next one that I have is called The Doll Factory. This is by Elizabeth McNeil. This is to be released August 13, 2019, and I don't really know that much about this one. It's very vague on the back of the book, but it does say that it is a sweeping tale of curiosity, love, and possession set amongst all the sordidness and soaring ambition of 1850s London. So, I mean, we're here for 1850s London. I'm excited, but I believe that it has, like, magical realism kind of elements. It says something about a girl who wishes to be a painter. She meets a boy named Silas who agrees to teach her how to paint, but evil is lurking in the background. Who knows what we're getting ourselves into, but it sounds good, so I'm here for it. And then the final book that I have is called We Are All Good People Here, and this is by Susan Rebecca White. This is to be released August 6, 2019. The back of this book is also very vague, but the gist of it is that it's about two women who come from very different backgrounds. They end up getting paired together to be roommates in college. They become quick friends. They end up being separated because one joins a rebellious group of like revolutionaries and the other one does not. They end up coming back together later on when they have two teenage daughters and is basically like that story. So I don't know if that sounds like something you're into. Maybe check it out. Like I said, August 6th. 2019. Alright guys, so those were the arcs that Simon & Schuster sent me. Thank you so much again to Simon & Schuster for sending them my way. It was a huge surprise. I was really excited about it. Let me know down below if you plan on reading any of these or if you've already picked them up by the time you see this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!